<laughs> the scenery looks so nice. I just finished dinner, which was right after I finished shooting the little interview. Oh my god, I was kind of nervous. I didn't expect it, and I like stuttered. And oh my god, I feel so embarrassed. Y'all, this girl was in speech finals and like she got the top grade in speech and she did debating and she stuttered on TV. But this is only the first little feature I'll have and I hope as time goes by, I'll get better at it with my speaking. And that calls for a celebration. On Juke and On Demand. <laughs> It's your girl Erin back on the feed. Monique and Ronnie are in isolation, so I am here and so lucky because I get to talk to some really cool people. We've got somebody awesome right here on the line. She's studying fashion at AUT and she's making loads of YouTube videos, TikToks, everything. And she's going to be with us a lot on the feed this year. So, kia ora, Cece. We had a couple minutes of talking and asking me some questions. I'm not gonna show it all because I'm a little shy, ironically. <laughs> but they asked me questions first about my name, CC Amethyst, and how it came about, my style inspiration, and some questions about me studying fashion at uni. Well, we will be seeing loads of you on the feed this year, and we'll be seeing lots of awesome content, kind of like this. Welcome to CC's vlog. <laughs> this is CC, aka CC Amethyst. You might have seen her around on your For You page on TikTok. But you're this. Yeah. But you're also this. Yeah. And you're this. Yeah. You can imagine how busy she is, but all of this only really took off late 2021. And it wasn't always like this. Yep. Perfect. I'm gonna turn up in a and just like any other artist, all the sad emotions were turned into art, illustrating figures that embody the negative emotions that she had. This was her way of processing emotions and moving on, while also creating emotional, thought provoking art and selling art prints of them all over the world. And for those literature English lovers, you could probably write an essay of all the symbolism in my art. October 2021 was when my fashion account started, quickly growing an audience as the fashion girl from New Zealand and quietly happening in the background. I was vlogging my fashion student life onto YouTube. Then somehow this happened and that's how I ended up here. <laughs> this looks so decently nice for being made in under two days. Wow. Now you might be wondering, what am I doing here? I'll be taking you along with me to uni and all the behind the scenes of my social media content creating, whether it be my personal projects, art, fashion styling, shooting for an ad, or simply vlogging and talking about life. And everything shown on the feed will only be a small slice of everything I post on social media. So if you want to keep up to date with me, these are my socials. And in the end, I just really hope I can inspire and motivate you guys to do what you want and stay true to you. I'm gonna be on TV. Wait. This doesn't look half bad. And here you are right now on TV, on the feed. <laughs> Cece, <laughs> can't believe it. It's been such a blast talking to you. Thank you so much. And I'm so excited to see more of you on the feed this year. shop right now with my friend we're doing a group project where we have to design a collection our theme is escapism we're exploring like the positives and negatives of like escapism no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> trying to explain everything i'll probably explain later as i'm like shopping for fabrics and showing you guys stuff but basically we're looking for fabrics getting some fabric swatches taking some pictures and maybe buying some things that we'll need 
we're looking for sheer chiffon and like pretty nice soft fabric and some like plastic -y. or like hard contrast fabrics, you know? Okay, let's go! <laughs> So to introduce you to the context of our group assignment, there is five people in total in my group and we're to collaboratively pick a theme and tell a story through the collection of our clothing with our choice of colors as the main focal point that will inherently help tell the story. Upon our first discussion, I actually introduced the idea of the theme of escapism because I felt with all the things happening in the world for the past two years, that was a very interesting topic to explore. We actually had to change up our idea quite a few times. So some of the fabrics that we were looking for as well as the colors then end up being in the final color palette but with our initial idea that we had we wanted to incorporate the dark and light side of escapism which is why you'll see us looking at some really pretty floral and pretty light colored fabrics in contrast to some really textured and dark colored fabrics which in the end represented the conflict yet balance between consuming hyper fantasy content to ignore and distract themselves from the horrible things happening in the world and on the flip side people could be developed unhealthy coping mechanisms where you could be sleeping through it all immersing yourself into technology like gaming or substance oh, abuse like Louis oh my god these like nice muted tones yeah oh my god this is for the ashes wait this is with the euphoric side of escapism, you can actually see in recent fashion trends with the rise of cottagecore, royalcore, really hyper-feminine kind of aesthetics, which ultimately all longs for the past simpler times when there wasn't so much complexity and corruption. I mean, there was still bad stuff happening, but it romanticizes a simple lifestyle on a farm, picking flowers and forgetting things like the pandemic. Also, a side note, can we appreciate how many pretty buttons there were? Not that we needed to get any at the moment, but they're really cool. These are off the birds that are flying away from me and these are what's left over the trail of them okay. fleeing. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of a gloomy cloudy sky, the calm before the storm or the calm after the storm. <laughs> finished looking around the entire store and now watch me get my own fabric. Wait, should I get a gray? <laughs> the contrast? Wait, what do you think of this color? Huh? What do you, what do you think of this color? Um. Oh my god, I want this. This is so bad. Wait. You need help. Wait, wait, wait. You got it? Yo, I'm gonna get buff after this. Oh my god, it kind of matches my gloves. We both just gasped at corduroy at the same time, guys. This is how much we love this fabric. This is so cool. Dude, I want to make a corduroy vest. I'm like in two bucket hats recently. I put some fur fabric for the spotlight because oh. I was on half price. 
And I'm like, I'm gonna make a black hat. And then like uni got in the way, and, <laughs> and I haven't made it. So I'm gonna Thank you. <laughs> the best <laughs> holding my fabric rolls for me <laughs> wow oh my god it's like zip heaven you see the swatches it kind of looks like people. it is now 11 30 we've been here since do you want stretch 10? or not stretch are we getting this orange oh uh, yeah this one <laughs> we got this orange. guys in case you don't know i really don't like orange it's my least favorite color but then this girl. Okay. <laughs> I'm wearing orange. Nah, she looks really cute, guys. You better compliment her. She looks so cute, right? She's my cutest fashion friend. <laughs> so we're collecting swatches for our collection right now to take back for our group members. And we're gonna decide on fabrics. I am the fabric holder collector, she is the executor. <laughs> okay, wait, I just want to show you guys how cute this fabric is. <gasps> and that. Okay, we're done. <gasps> oh, I want my purples and pinks. You want your purples and pinks? I will get your purples and Actually, that orange is bearable. What? Wait, it's more red. Yeah, that's the point. How appetizing. Oh, it smooshed to one side. Wait, what did you get? I got the chicken on rice with mayo. And then I got <laughs> I got winter melon green tea with white pearls, because white pearls is my favorite topping. Well, yeah. Spork? A fork? Oh, is that a spoon? No, it's a fork. Spoon? Oh my god. Open up! <laughs> All the pretty, nice stuff elements is, I guess, in a way to balance out all the bad stuff. Oh my god, and I'm a Libra, and Libra symbol is a scale, it's all about balancing everything in life. So if I'm emotionally and mentally, like, disrupt, mm -hmm. I'ma be so hot. <laughs> because I thought I was too good for her. <laughs> you know what's also really funny? Like when I was really sad, right? Like, think about it, if I was in your position, I was thinking, you know, like, oh my god, <laughs> I feel that nobody knows me. <laughs> Make sure that all his friends don't know me. I just like disappear from everyone's Lately, I've been really wanting to purchase a crown of my own. Like, just to wear for fun. For the aesthetics. I just want a tiara. <laughs> I'm putting another one on. Oh.
So we had a group discussion showing all the designs that we've done each and we were picking specific features about each other's designs that we liked and we wanted to incorporate in our collection. The thing was, as a group, we were pretty happy with the direction of where our collection was going. Like we were all actually pretty excited to execute everything. But the thing was, our tutor came and kind of told us to just start all over again because she didn't like it. And we kind of had to rearrange a lot of things on our mood board and color palette, which was kind of annoying because the week prior, our teacher told us that she was in love with our concept idea and the contrast between the positives and negatives of escapism but then the following week she told us to scrap it all because she said it didn't suit everything we were doing but nonetheless everything you're seeing here we kind of changed it up again <laughs> You'll see what I mean in the next YouTube video. But there was a big disconnect between what our group wanted to portray and what the tutor thought we should have portrayed. Anyways, near the end of the class, we had to go back to the drawing board and redesign and come up with new silhouettes to prepare for next week's class where we start making the twirls for our collection. And in case you don't know what twirls are, they're basically the draft of your final garment. Before you saw the final thing, by 12.30 at noon, these were the sketches I came up with based on that mood board in the corner. Day. Conversations in my head got me conflicted. <laughs> I don't talk like that. Said. That way. I tend to second You talk like that. Okay, going up the lunch. Shut up. Mindy, poor Mindy. We got straight forward. Oh, the scenery looks so nice. My second time shooting with the feed for on TVNZ2. I'm honestly so grateful for this opportunity. Like it's so exciting. Like my first legitimate part-time job is being a content creator for a TV show. All the other income I used to have were freelance stuff from like selling my art or jewelry or something and this is so wild. It seems so wild. The universe just suddenly threw this grand thing at me. It shows me how crazy and amazing life can be. And it's such a good turnaround from all the bad things that happened last year. <laughs> but at the same time, the universe is like, let's chuck this at her face. Make her learn her damn lesson. <laughs> I feel like this time around, especially with one of the friends that I'm talking to, where she's also into the content creating side, and we're both talking about how it finally feels like Things are starting off new and fresh. Old cycles are ending and new cycles are beginning and I'm so excited. It feels amazing yet so scary at the same time. And you know with the whole TV show thing, right? Like I did speeches, I was in semi and finals, I did debating and I was also a house captain where you have to like make freaking podium speeches every week. Like with speeches, I'm like fine. I'd say I'm fairly confident, but I'd still stutter or get a little bit anxious and like occasionally revert back to my old shell where I wasn't like that. I feel like I faked that bit of me until it became a reality and I was. Or it was always real and I was always this confident girl, but then trauma had to <laughs> I was thinking like growing up, I feel like I was never really heard, even till now, with my surrounding. I feel like I'm hardly heard or validated 
of my feelings and thoughts. Like, I felt like it wasn't that important. And I feel like that was also why I strived so much in high school. Because when you're in a leadership position, you control everything in a sense. Like, you're the one who has a say. Everyone, well, almost everyone listened to me. Because <laughs> some people, like, I remember there are these people who kind of belittled me because I'm so small and they're like, her as like a leader, like what? She doesn't look like that. And I do get like a teeny bit insecure with my height and how I look sometimes, but it's fine. And then already with my underlying feeling of, I don't know, not feeling as appreciated or like worthy of my voice and opinion, like talking to the camera, I'm somewhat okay. Like there's still a little bit of the jitters, like a little bit nervous, but then as I'm talking going on, it feels like I'm talking to a friend or like a version of myself that understands me. <laughs> While I was communicating with the people that's working for the TV show, they asked me, oh, what do you want to talk about? Think about some, you know, things, like if there's anything you want to share. And it seemed so jarring. Immediately, my first thought was, what's interesting about me? Like, what's, like, am I worthy to be listened to? <laughs> what do I have to offer? Sounds so stupid. I know. I have things to offer and I know there are good things about me that are worthy of sharing and servicing you guys and the universe is like now you need to get it into your little damn brain that you are worthy of being heard and your opinion matters and with this whole show literally a few minute segment every week or two is a segment solely based on me like isn't that insane? I feel like I quantum leaped to like an alternate universe and this big ass cool thing just happened to me and I'm so grateful for it. And it just hit me when my friend said that whole universe comparison that they're like chucking this at you now to like there's a lesson to finally acknowledge and embrace this goddess energy. <laughs> Time to embrace the true self. And speak as you wish. And in case anyone needs to hear this, like how I needed to hear, <laughs> is that whatever you have to say and feel is worthy enough to be heard and validated. Like whatever you're feeling, you can feel that way. Don't gaslight yourself. <laughs> I need to take my own advice. Every time I feel a negative way, I feel like I shouldn't feel that way because I have this or something else that's good happening. My little... <laughs> but yeah, your voice matters. Okay, don't shut it off. <laughs> you know what? It's a work in progress as I slowly get more confident. I still stuttered a bit and was like, oh, freaked out and like nervous when I was talking to TV show hosts. And I'm kind of feeling a little bit deflated, but then now talking like this, I feel better. <laughs> oh, and also, I got a new package. Now to end of the video, let's unbox some cute necklaces with me from Sunny Daisy. <gasps> I am not that good at saving, guys. You need to slap me and make sure I do not do retail therapy, although retail therapy do kind of works. But anyways, these little cute flowers. Oh. <gasps> Look at these cute stickers! Oh my god, this purple one! Oh my god, the bunnies! Oh my god, this is so cute! Necklace number one! This beautiful wing! I'm like into fairy and butterfly wings recently. Mad fairy vibes. Oh, this would look cute! Second necklace gives me cottage core vibes, like with a strawberry. Oh, but this is so pretty! Oh, it's so cute! The third one is this butterfly. Did you see the theme here? A butterfly. Half of it is like pearls and the other half is like this pink crystal. Is it what it was called? But, um, I don't have piercings, I wear clip-ons, so I'm probably going to convert these into clip-ons, which is really easy to do. And then the last one. She usually does beaded necklace and then she did like a lace one and I was so surprised. And it looks so pretty, like this one. Like the lace, and then with the pearls, like, that is so pretty. Oh my god. 
comment which one your favorite necklace is and which one you would wear. I hope you enjoyed this vlog, my little fabric shopping trip and a little one day vlog of studio. I hope you took some wisdom, maybe, from my little talk and I hope you have a great day! Thanks for watching! Mwah!